Welcome back to Elements of Art. I'm Natasha and I have another art question for you. Why do we make art? Or why do you make art? For you and every other human being, it is a different answer to discover. In different areas of the world and throughout spanned time, the reasons and impetus behind artistic creation have varied. Every person is a vast and brilliant compilation of ideas, imaginations, situations, and motivations. Why art is made is a fun conversation to have both with yourself to figure out your own motivations and with other creatives you may know. In this lesson, we will discuss the why of art and attempt to understand the reasons behind artistic creation. We will categorize some of the motivations into four distinct categories and allow for an opportunity for you to analyze your own reasons for making art. We can say that most, if not all art, is a form of expression. These visual expressions have been shaped by cultural and social developments that have come to pass throughout the totality of human existence. The inspiration and reasoning behind artistic expression are as ever-changing as humanity. So what are some of those reasons? Well, we can think about the reasons for making art within four categories, which include communication with others and the sharing of stories, creating visual records or documentation, influential artworks, activism, or working for change, exploration and beautification of our environment. Let us take a moment to dive deeper into each category and see how different motivations influence art making. Images and colors have a special way of speaking. They are nonverbal symbols that translate across language barriers. And as art is so fundamentally connected with expressing feelings and emotions, art can be therapeutic. Art allows us to illustrate feelings that we may be unable to express verbally. It provides us with an emotional outlet or an avenue to incite emotion in others. The stories communicated through art are many. They can be found in such art as stained glass windows depicting biblical scenes, to graphic novels, to murals, to picture books for children, and much more. Illustrations are used to share experiences and narratives in an easily accessible way. Art is a great way of representing and preserving the past. Art often provides a first-hand record for events of historical significance. As far back as the time of cave art creation, visual records have been made. Depictions of royals, public art to remember past battles, photos of construction and industrial advancements, etc. Not only can art historically preserve and remember events, it can do the same thing with cultural and religious practices. Art can communicate beliefs and teachings, commemorate key religious events, or provide inspiration to the followers of a faith. In the past, High-ranking members of some religions even hired artists to create artworks that would support and spread their message. In a variety of applications, art has been and is continually used to make a mark and preserve the intricacies of human existence. In times of big political change or cultural turmoil, artwork is often used to represent different platforms, agendas, or opinions. Politically, consider the imagery we associate with Republicans and Democrats, the elephant and the donkey. These icons came from political art and cartooning. We also have imagery from military recruiting and 
visual commentary on the practices of members of government gaining from the efforts of the people. Many activist artists use their work to inspire societal change or provide social commentary. There have been many different artists throughout the years whose main platform has been to encourage communal growth in a positive direction. Many times this is done with murals, sculptures, and other public art. It's a natural feeling to want to make your surroundings visually appealing. Art works fabulously to achieve this end. Even functional objects, those things that we use from day to day, can be designed as works of art. Consider a ceremonial teapot, a beautiful fountain pen, or an elegant chair. Some objects receive special design and craftsmanship to better serve their function, or do so with an additional attractive sculptural flourish. In the realm of creating beauty, sometimes art can simply be a way of having fun and experimenting with methods outside of their traditional functions and changing up the application of different art materials. That sums up our four categories of why art is made. As you can see, each motivation is tremendously wide-ranging and complex. Can you think of any reasons, other than those that we have mentioned, why art is made? What reason or reasons do you most closely identify with when it comes to creating visual works of art? Pause the video for a moment and consider that question, and compose an answer in the space provided on your lesson notes. So, what reasons did you come up with for why you make art? Continue to think about it as you remember, art is all around you. Hey, hey.